Uh, I think I'm at a crunch point with this character because I really like the idea of this guy being related to Zeldris. Like, uh, like my theories are Zeldris' son, but I I don't really know how like credible that's going to be looking. Like, is there there was nothing in this chapter that that kind of gave that that kind of information or hint. The closest was like when he was in this pose. I was kind of thinking about Ominous Nebula, but he's got like the dark stuff on his sword. That's like the most I think added in this chapter that might fit into that category, might fit into that whole um, and that whole setup and like the stuff with blood. But I don't think there was any information otherwise that was hinted in this chapter. And there's even a part when he's talking and he mentions something about uh, his sister and then the the giant girl. They're like when people are referring to these Dunasians, and I think it's Donnie, and he's uh, he's saying that this guy's a villain. Like she gets upset, and I'm like, I'm really hoping that that's not like an indication of any kind that they're related, because it, it would be even weirder. Because okay, like a giant, you're gonna have a giant. Like if, if a giant's child is is you know in this series, the first person people are gonna think of is you know from Diane King. But I don't really see that, like, that being possible. Because, for one, this dude himself looks absolutely nothing like King or Diane to any degree. Um, and with the girl, one, it, how would you have, like, it, would it just be, like, one normal-sized person born? Well, kid, not person. Um, I guess we don't really know how old he is, but, I mean, like, he, he definitely doesn't look very old. I mean, he could be similar to Percival, where he's actually, like, pretty... You know, he's, he's of a much older age, but he just looks young. Because, you know, Percival looks, Percival looks like he's, like, 7 or something. But he's 16. And this dude, I mean, maybe he could be a similar thing. Because that, that, that is enough of a, you know, I guess maybe potential initial nod if he is actually the same way as Percival. And, like, maybe he is Zeldris' kid. Because Zeldris, we know, you know, Demon, Demon did slower, and then uh, Gelda vampire so like you can kind of work that out maybe maybe that's like the mixture made him ageless uh, a little faster because it's the same thing with this other girl under him uh dolores or whatever like she's a giant so she should age extremely slow uh like i don't know the exact ratio for some of the species in seven only sins but i remember there was that one point in a king and diane flashback where it was like they met a human at one point when he was a kid and then they they met him later, and actually, I, I think it wasn't even him, because I was going to say, like, it was, like, him, but, like, he was an old man, but I don't even think it was, like, the same guy. I think it was, like, his grandkid or something, so it had been, like, a hundred plus years. I had to go back and look. I'm sure, like, somebody who, you know, more, knows more about, like, the full, like, it just, probably of knowing what chapter I'm talking about or what scene I'm talking about, I'd be like, oh, yeah, like, you know, correct me on that one, whether it's the same guy or, you know, a descendant of him. Regardless, like, they obviously age slower, and it's been only 16 years. So, unless there's, like, a... Uh, unless there's, like, an explanation of why, like, any of these, like, hybrid species age faster than their parents or, like, a peer breed. Maybe that could be it, actually. Maybe, like, you have to be a peer breed of, like, any of these species to kind of, like, age at that rate. Or what I would always... I always like, like, the idea it's, like, you age regularly until you hit your prime. And that's, like, when you hit, like, a prime level, you just start either aging slowly or just stop aging at all. I don't know. Either way, like, the guy himself, he's pretty cool. I, I'm, I'm hoping that he adds some form of higher connection to, like, another character. If, if he's just somebody who is, like, on his own, no, like, big background reveal or anything, and he's gonna end up tying into the story, that's still pretty cool. Like, I, I'm fully game for that, but, I don't know, something about, like, if he's related to Zeldris, I think would be super badass. Because Zeldris is a character that I... I liked in the series, especially like his design. I really liked his uh, his cool sword. I, I really liked Ominous Nebula. I thought that was a really cool ability and whatnot. But he was one of those ones where it's it's unfortunate you don't get to see more of him for like how important he should have been in the series because like he is weird because he he had been in the series for majority of the uh, of the time. You know, the Ten Commandments came back at like the beginning of the second major arc and. He just didn't have a lot of spotlight. He had a couple scenes where he'd pop in, but Nakaba focused more on the other, uh, the other stuff. I, I always really wish that he had like more of a active role, at least in being in places and having scenes, even if he wasn't kind of fighting. Like I was just thinking more of like 
an Okiora type kind of character. You're gonna it's gonna take a while to get to his fight, but before then, you're gonna see just a lot of him, you know, a lot of content of him essentially. But uh, I thought this chapter was pretty solid, like in general. Like outside of that, you know, I just ran in for like five minutes over this guy because I again. Uh, he's got a cool design. I'm hoping he's uh, again related to another character I like because then that could boost up like a lot of potential of just like his existence in the series. But plus, obviously, if he's related to say uh, Zeldris, that holds a lot of okay. Zeldris is gonna come back and scene at some point. And like, I assume many of the characters that you know were very important to the overall story and were still alive are gonna make a cameo and return at some point. But there's, there'll be a big gap of it's like if somebody in the main cast is directly like related to him and will like is way more prone to bringing him into the story rather than just like whenever he's gonna kind of drift in. But there's like a part where the, where the one giant girl she's like saying how she put all those boulders in front of the entrance to the Echo Gorge to block people from coming in, but the Donnie's just like, well, that had the exact opposite effects. The thing is like. If you saw this and you saw these boulders, to be perfectly honest, even from the standpoint of I feel like most normal people, we, if you saw there were monsters in there and you like you weren't strong to fight them, that's that's one thing. But I feel like a lot of people would at least want to climb the boulders to see like what's in there. Like even if it's just like climb to the top, look over, maybe you know it's it's a little creepy. You're like I don't know about that, but I don't know something about like a, a a big piling of boulders would just draw attention. I feel like a lot of people. I mean it would be really dangerous in general just to, just to climb up a bunch of loose boulders all over the place but at the same time I don't know I feel like it'd be fun anyway um I definitely don't climb on loose boulders not a good idea to so get squished but uh we used to have this pretty funny back and forth between personal and this dude again uh, I'll get his name pronounced down eventually the Nasians Nicians Nicens I, I, I don't really know but he's he's saying that he uh that Oh yeah, uh, you know, uh, those Belladonna leaves were supposed to knock you out for 10 hours, referring to Persil after he wakes up. Which is, there's a couple things that like like that in the chapter, I actually really liked, just at small things, because that's not really brought up again in the chapter. It's a very, very quick scene, just in that context, because, you don't know, it's, it, it doesn't have any large-scale importance of the, um, of the chapter other than like how he's talking about like Percival is like a good guinea pig to test his uh, concoctions on and stuff. But that like statement right there means that like you know Percival has a naturally strong resistance to something like this because if it's like it's supposed to knock you out for 10 hours I don't think it mentions how long it's been but I mean like it's definitely not been 10 hours. Like given that the characters like you know Donnie and the cast they're they were already on the move over to Echo Gorge before this dude knocked out Percival. Like even an hour would be extremely impressive. So it's like like toxins and uh, any like sedatives and stuff would be like you know a, a tenth of how strong they would be on a normal person on Percival. Granted, the exact amount of time that he was just passed out, I don't think was stated. But regardless, it wasn't that long. And that again, that just means that he's just got a natural resistance to that kind of stuff, which is good good right there like that that is a really good just kind of like small thing to slip in for his character so later if say nakaba was going to have that as a plot point like say a guy was going to knock out percival and he's like okay i knocked him out for three hours we have two hours to do our evil plan and it's like you know like it's cut drastically it'd be like okay it takes him out for a chunk of the time but he's still in the fight and he can still get up and it would be a shocker to you know the, the enemies and stuff so it, it's just a good natural trait for him to have but Percival's upset because the guy strips him down because he doesn't want like any anything to get in the way of his experiments and whatnot. But he's like saying he burned a lot of Percival stuff. I was like, geez, man, for one, that pissed me off like outright because it's like this, this shit wasn't yours. You're just gonna burn all this guy's stuff. And uh, the cloak and the helmet are still fine. And I was wondering like, well, why exactly? Like, why wouldn't he burn those? Like, is that like just convenient that he for some reason didn't want to burn the things that Percival really cared about? But. Uh, no, he brings up that they were, they're actually magic, and it takes a lot of, uh, a lot of force in order to, like, just destroy them. It's gonna take way more than just a fire. Again, I like that. I thought that was a good, small note, and Nakaba didn't stick on that. Like, it wasn't, like, a long explanation on the items themselves. He was just mentioning it, 
they'll be more relevant later. But I like that he just, you know, the, the, another thing he just kind of slipped in there. You know, he's like, pay attention to it or not, but either way, it's going to become like a relevant thing later. I, I enjoy when, when writers do stuff like that, because it doesn't have to be some gigantic, like, nod or moment of, of like a huge plot point slipping in and trying to trying to be like a little too clever it's just like hey just just so you know i'm putting this here and then you know later if uh, that becomes more relevant then you either are gonna be surprised or you're gonna be like oh shit they remember like i remember this from being mentioned you know at chapter um at chapter eight it's kind of like this is uh, like a good example it's kind of like in um in fairy tale urza has a fake eye one of her eyes is completely artificial so like eye based abilities have like a half effect on her and they don't have to bring it up every time because, you know, you, you know about it and you see it to where you should just remember that's an aspect of, like, how her, you know, her character works. So, like, if, you know, if you said, oh, I'm, uh, I can trap you in this illusion for, you know, ten minutes becomes five. Or, or something like that. It's one of those things that we're seeing with Percival that is, you know, it's gonna, it's, it's gonna more than likely, again, be named later. But it doesn't have to be something that uh, that we have to go too much into, or something kind of like um, another one that'd be like um, Luffy gained a level of resistance to like poisons and stuff from Impel Down. So it's like anytime he goes up against a poison user, you should know that he has at least like um, you know a, a stat resistance to that. Like he's got a natural amount of like a, a chunk of this ability is going to not affect me as much, which again is good because. It's one of those things you got to pay attention to the series to, otherwise you might just kind of slip by it. Or it could be, um, you know, related to something way bigger in the future. Who knows? After that point, uh, he ends up putting a drug in Percival, and he had, like, his hair grow really big. And I thought this was really funny. So, uh, both from the point of Dolores, because, like, Dolores, um, her character, um, from what I remember, I actually went and looked at the character because of uh, Quan Credible, and also this Four Nights of Apocalypse video is going to check him out, on, on top of bringing up uh the character Dolores being a giant that used to be friends with Matrona and Diane but also <laughs> he was not happy about Percival's hair because he doesn't like Percival's hairstyle and they, they just made it goofier in here he's got like a full Yu-Gi-Oh hairstyle now or it's just it was already an anime hairstyle but now it takes up like a, a half of his body mass I thought that was just pretty funny but this dude he's like not saying he's he's like mentioning how um he was experimenting on that fairy, but the fairy attacked him first, and he only, like, attacked back. Which, I mean, that that seems like a little bit of, like, a mild justification, not the same thing. But it's like, yeah, I mean, yeah, he messed with you first, so do as you do. But he also, like, brings up this, uh, this kind of quirk he has where when he gets really excited, he bites his lip until it, like, bleeds. And I'm like, he's gonna, he's gonna have, like, a really creepy set of scenes in, like, the series if this is, like... <laughs> A regular thing for him assuming he sticks around and he's not just like a couple chapter um, enemy that we see early on and then after that like I said you have um, just a bunch of monsters chasing Donnie and the giant the giants upset when um, Donnie ends up saying that the dude um, again night nice ends uh, Nazi ends somebody knows how to actually pronounce it please tell me um, he, you know she gets upset that he says anything like that she's like he's not he's not like that so again there's either there are She's the sister that he mentioned, but I, that'll be so weird. It would require such like an odd explanation. Or she's gonna be like his love interest character, because like that, those are the only other two things. Like upset they're make they're like saying anything about her brother, or upset that they're saying anything about like the guy that she has a thing for. I, I assume in the next chapter we'll see, or at least as soon as they meet up, he'll mention if they're uh, you know if they're grouped up together as like a brother and sister, or if you know hints that she has a thing for him. Who knows? But um, when we get back to uh, Nasians, he's still making um, some of his concoction. He's like, uh, you can leave after this next mixture, but you gotta be careful because like slightly wrong and uh, and you're gonna die. But like, he's he's like shaking a little bit from pouring it in and uh, and you have Percival being like, are, are you even gonna actually like be able to do this? So you're just shaking it, you know, you're, you might just mess up. Cause the guy just mentions like, hey, if, if it's not right, eh, it might kill you. But at the same time, like at the end of the chapter, he just drinks it. So like Percival just seems a little too risky. Like Percival definitely, at least right now, has that personality of like, if he ran into like a really broken character or something with like a really crazy power, like that guy could easily trick him into just taking the hit and like 
getting rid of him. Like, if he had some dude who maybe has, I, I'm trying to think of something like a spatial attack or something. I'm just thinking, like, top of my head, like, uh, Langris, who could just spatially swipe stuff. And he's just, like, like, just completely coaxed him into, like, taking the attack and then just kind of said, nope. Like, Percival seems too risky. He needs the battle experience. Because it's like, any, any normal person, I feel like, would be like, I don't want to drink this guy's random potion. You have no idea what it is. But it's like, if you're, if you're that risky, I mean, do your thing, but we'll see. Um, but he's, like, mentioning that he doesn't need to tell him, you know, an outsider, the, like, the mission he has. Which, again, um, clearly something was much bigger with this guy. And I, I'm hoping that he's going to end up having that, um, again, larger scale importance. If, if he's, like, a brand new character, a brand new story, though, again, I'm perfectly okay with it. First one's up breaking free, he gets his hat on, gets his cloak back. I like that his hat would stay on, you know, obviously his hair is too big. It's just gonna completely just become like a, uh, like a loose accessory at this point. Um, they get in like a bit of a scuffle, obviously Percival is, you know, he's, he's very strong for like his size and age. Like he's not like crazy powerful, but like as far as we know, like Nassians, he's not, he doesn't seem like that much of a, like, powerhouse he's mostly just like a guy who's got like a magic dagger and a magic sword so he just doing his best i still think that was like a really nice little scuffle but when percival falls over and his hat just kind of like shoots up from his hair retaking shape and you know ends up knocking the dude down his vial like goes in the air percival grabs it and ends up drinking it so i'm wondering what that's gonna do to him in the next chapter like we'll, we'll get an explanation of it because like it was the, the that was the point of the chapter where I was like I have no idea where this is gonna go. Like, I don't I don't think it's mentioned what that like vial does like what is in there, but it's gotta be something weird. Like is Percival gonna grow really tall for some reason? Is he going to get bigger? Who who exactly knows what? Maybe that could be the thing for this guy where it's like maybe he was trying to because it's like his hair gets bigger. Maybe that's something to do with getting bigger in general. Maybe like he's stuck small and he wants to get like to a larger size. Or, what if that uh, Dolores girl is not actually a giant, she got cursed by something that made her big, or Nasians is actually a giant who got made small, or he's always been small and he's trying to become big. Who knows? Either way, though, uh, tell me your thoughts about this. Like, the, the chapter itself is weird because I liked it, but, like, outside of, like, the points I mentioned, like, I didn't have a ton to talk about. I, I Like, the majority of, of what I had to say was mostly, like, ranting at the start of, like, how I... I really want this guy to be related to Zeldris. Um, the, the only reason that I'd be okay with it not being related to Zeldris, because like his name is what Nasians, is I was I was putting my eggs in the basket of Zeldris and Gelda considering their child would be a demon vampire. I was hoping so bad that he would name his kid Dracula. I think that would just be really sick. It'd be really a really cool little nod. I mean, plus like it, it, I mean, that's like the darkest combo you'd get out of him. That and what would be the most powerful vampire, I would assume, in the history of their world. But anyway, other than that, no comment below. Tell me your thoughts about this chapter were and how you think things are going to be moving forward in the series. Like, what, do you, what exactly do you think this potion is going to do to him? Right? It's something weird is going to happen to Percival just in the next chapter. Anyway, other than that, no comment below. Thanks for the video. Remember to like, button, subscribe, and check out my other videos. Other than that, if you haven't already subscribed, thank you all for listening. Bye.